This is a new installation of Filament PHP and this is our admin panel. When I go to the avatar side and attempt to click on my name, sort of like to go to a profile link, you can see by default it is disabled. How can we make this work for us? We will go to App Providers then we will go to filament admin panel provider and for us to enable that profile link i'll be able to just chain profile and in doing so if we go back and refresh and check it out now when we click on the link and attempt to go to it now we are able to Edit. So for example, if I change this name and uh, give an, another name or maybe a full name like uh, William Juma and save changes. Now the name that um, is there in the system is now not the single name that I had, but now we have the name being um, the one that I have created. So uh, that is how you can be able to do the profile link. Sometimes you may want to do a little bit of modification on it and um, add several other things to it. You can be able to pass in here a, a, an edit profile class and extend this uh, profile feature to make it custom. And for you to be able to do that, you will go to uh, filament the filament uh, directory of which we do not have so let me just create a resource to ensure that we have that page so let me create a resource and we will do php artisan make filament resource then we will give the name of our resource user resource and this um, I'm just doing it to create a folder and be in a place where we can be able to create pages. There's nothing fancy about it. So now we have a folder called filament. And now I uh, would like us to create inside this filament directory, I would like us to create a directory called pages. So we will have new folder and have pages. Inside pages, we will create another folder which we will call auth. And inside here, I would like us to have a file which we are going to call editprofile.php, like that. Inside this file, of course, we will begin with the PHP tags and then namespace it. Uh, namespace and uh, the namespace will be up, um, up um, filament pages pages and then edit profile pages auth and then edit profile just pages auth like that after that we can go ahead and uh, extend so we will have a class and we will the name of our class is edit profile and this class extends the base edit profile and the class that we're extending is the one that um, I did mention. So here we can say use filament pages auth edit profile as the base edit profile like that. And after that, now we can go on and uh, create our code. Since whatever it is that we'll be working with is a form, we will have public function form and then we will pass in form like that and the return type in this case will be form inside here we have return form and we will have a schema and inside here we have our form inputs i will import form that is filament forms form and after that we can be able to have our inputs so for the name we will have this get name form component and then we will have for email this get 
email form component it's not supposed to be um semicolon because we're passing in sort of like an array and then we have this password get password form component and lastly password confirmation this get password confirmation component like that so now if we are to go to our to our profile again that we did have in our admin panel provider we can be able to pass in our edit class edit uh, profile class and once we do that we can still continue enjoying something similar to whatever it is that we did have here so if i go back we have an error because we have not been able to import it so i will go ahead and import it filament um app filament pages auth edit profile and we will save so if i'm to refresh again everything seems to be working so we can go to our profile and click on it again you can see it's still displaying perfectly so let me attempt and um, maybe modify one thing so in our edit profile we can be able to maybe make our email component disabled i mean the email um method or in this case component disabled i'd like us to refresh i have it's supposed to be disabled i'm getting an error and when we refresh now you can see the email field has been completely disabled and it is not editable uh, this makes it possible for you to be able to modify whatever it is that you can be able to do with the profile if you find that you require to have some extensions or maybe some um, customizations that you would want to have in the edit profile and i've not been able to mention everything but i believe i've been able to be useful in terms of whatever i've shared regarding whatever it is that you can be able to do with this uh, profile if you like the video a thumbs up you'd be uh, good if you are new to the channel please subscribe my name is william juma and this is larafant let us see each other in the next video thank you